We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former major league pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm? Develop the team. Oh, the bucket in pressure too much. Down he goes. CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield. And he got there and put his man on the ground. And yeah, the next-gen stat's going to show just how much time he had to make a decision, and it's not much. Three seconds, the final play. Locking. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20 yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Shaquille Barrett coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. Let's take it inside his own fourth. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. And Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. 26-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. From the gun, it's Brady. And the first hookup of his all pro tight end, Ron Gronkowski. And he's taken down inside the 30. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many, because once they get going, look out, things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and when you see that. And that's saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourself. He's right six. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. Well, looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Jones. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, 
force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You gotta make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Good to make it 14-0. That time, a six-play drive. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. Bradley Pinion, the kickoff for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. No gain on the play. Second and 10. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. With the score, Buccaneers 14, Chiefs nothing. Second and 10. Second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and then think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up. Because, oh. And down he goes, a Buccaneers sack. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And yeah, the next-gen stat's going to show just how much time he had to make a decision. And it's not much. Three seconds, the final clock here. On oh, is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. Here's Mickens to return. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Buccaneer offense will be set up well as they take over. And here we go again with Tom Brady in Tampa's offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Flying in to blow that play up, Alex Okafor. Maybe that can give him a little bit of a good because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Throwing on second and long. Brady airing this one out for Evans. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's going deep for Brown. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. We can't have that. Well, Antonio Brown can wreak havoc in so many ways. Here he's able to cause a P.I. penalty. He runs the defensive backs with such speed and power. I think it creates panic on their end. And a lot of times they just reach out and grab him. And that's the result there. A pass in. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. From 10 yards out as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. 
So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. And it is now 21 to nothing. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Mahomes now on first down. His throw incomplete. Ricky Seals Jones, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25 yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. A screen to Bell. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch just one yard, making it third and nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That goal was a punt of 34 yards that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A gain of 13, it's a first down. That was good tough running right up the middle, and if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Throwing on first down is Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, 
They might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Open man, Gronkowski complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. 10 more there and another first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down, Brady. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Three yards the gain there, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Throwing is Brady on third down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On 24-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half.